Yo, what is going on you guys? This is Gaming with Sal and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I want to go ahead and talk about the topic of specialists in Black Ops 4 and decide whether or not they're actually bad for the game and just bad for Call of Duty in general. Now, before I go ahead and get into the video, I just want to go ahead and say that I know that I haven't been uploading in a while and I feel like I sound like a broken record whenever I say that because I said that so many times before, but I had a lot of exams this past week for college and I basically finished all of them. So now I'm much more free than I was before. So be sure to expect more frequent videos videos and frequent uploads than you have seen before on this channel for the past couple of weeks. And on top of that, if you guys haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do so and click that bell icon so you'll never miss an upload that goes up on this channel. And if you guys enjoy this video later on, please go ahead and make sure to drop a like. Now let's go ahead and get right back into the topic of the video. So the reason why I say that specialists are possibly a bad thing for Black Ops 4 is because of one word, randomness. Now the thing is, people can argue that in Black Ops 3, there were also specialists and they didn't seem like that they were as bad as the ones we see here in Black Ops 4. Like, why are people suddenly complaining about specialists here in BO4 if we've seen them in the past Black Ops title before? Well, if you think about it, when it came to Black Ops 3 and all the other Call of Duties that had like the futuristic era, the hate that the jetpacks really got kind of overshadowed the hate that the Black Ops 3 specialists possibly got as well. Because if you think about it, maybe there were people who didn't like specialists back in Black Ops 3, but it was totally negated because of the hate that the jetpacks got to begin with. So in a way, the hate for the Black Ops 3 specialists, even if it did exist, never really got that much of an exposure because like I said, the hate towards the jetpacks were just much more apparent than the hate towards the specialists in that game. And in my opinion, that's just one single thing. I feel like another reason was because in Black Ops 3, the specialists, if you think about it, weren't really as extreme as they are here in Black Ops 4. And notice how I didn't use overpowered or underpowered, I just used extreme because here in Black Ops 4, the specialists, according to Treyarch, were designed to help players to engage in more teamwork. And that teamwork was one of the main things that they wanted to focus on when it came to Black Ops 4 because they they noticed how a lot of people really don't talk on game chat anymore or basically like party up as much as they used to back in the day and actually used to use strategies to win certain games. I mean, I know certain people still do that nowadays, except they just want to make it to where almost everyone that enters a game can do that for one another. And that's why these specialists, if you think about it, aren't really designed just for the player to benefit from the abilities themselves, but in a way it's kind of designed so that the teammates can take advantage of you using that specialist's abilities on top of that. But the problem with that is, is that it makes random like I said earlier on in the video, a lot more apparent than it needs to be. For example, back in Black Ops 3, when it came to randomness, what was the one thing that caused it? The jetpacks. Because when it came to Black Ops 3, not only did you have to worry about who's in front of you, who's behind you, and who's coming from your left or your right, but you also had to worry about who's coming from above you and then who's below you as well, depending on whether or not you're the one that's boost jumping like 20 feet in the air. And that is pretty much the reason why people never really liked boost jumping in Call of Duty, at least for the majority of the community that plays Call of Duty, because of the random that occurred in these futuristic era games due to the movement system. And if you think about it here in Black Ops 4, specialists are kind of similar to that because of how much randomness they cause as well. Because take a look at this example that I'm about to share with you guys whenever I was playing a game just recently on the map Hacienda. I was running down a hallway and basically wanted to turn right around the corner. And as soon as I did that, I saw another enemy player who was using Ajax and he already had his shield up and his little mini pistol ready to go and take me out. Now, of course, I had no chance against this guy. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and turn back around and run the other direction and get out of there. The moment I did that, I saw that there were three more enemies standing in front of me. And the thing is, I could have taken them out because they weren't looking in my direction. However, I knew that with the 150 health and the limited ammo count that I had per magazine in my weapon, I was only going to be able to take like two of them out max. And by the time I'm done taking them out and was done reloading, that third person was either going to take me out or the person with Ajax that's running up behind me was going to take me out. So regardless, I knew that I was not going to survive that situation no matter what I did. And that was all because of the fact that I ran into to a guy that was using Ajax. That sort of randomness is kind of similar to what the randomness was like back in Black Ops 3, and therefore, you can kind of argue that specialists are either already there or are on the way to get the same treatment that Jetpacks eventually got when the fans just got tired of it. So basically, specialists could become or are already becoming something that the fans of Call of Duty are just simply not liking anymore. People are actually starting to come out and say that they kind of want to go back to like the regular way of Call of Duty in which there were no specialists. So with that said, if you think about it, the 150 health is not even the problem here in Black Ops 4. The self-healing is not even a problem here in Black Ops 4. But in actuality, it's just the way that these specialists were designed. Now, in order to be fair, let's go ahead and look at the other side of things. There are still specialists in this game that really aren't that annoying and that overpowered and are actually a pretty cool fit for Black Ops 4. Like, for example, look at a specialist such as Crash or Recon. No one ever complains about those specialists because they're not overpowered or underpowered. I feel like those 
those specialists are like in the perfect position between being used for like an offensive type of play or a defensive type of play because if you think about it with crash when you have a 50 health boost you can either use that to get away from a gunfight that you know you're not going to win and not be taken out when you're running away or you can use that extra 50 health to be able to rush into a group of enemies and know that you're going to be able to take them out because you have that extra health with vision pulse same thing if you know you're getting shot from somewhere but you don't know where the enemy exactly is you can use vision pulse to exactly find out where they are and maybe run away from them or depending on where they're facing or where the enemies are you can be like you know what i'm going to go in and just rush him and basically take all of them out so if specialists were designed in the way that recon and crash were designed i feel like we could have had actually something special here in black ops 4 when it came to the specialists and on top of that something else just clicked to me right now if you actually take a close look at each of the abilities that the specialists have here in black ops 4 the ones that are annoying or the ones that people usually have a problem with are the same exact specialists that have abilities that are really similar to past score streaks that we've seen and past black ops titles or past call of duty titles like take a look at nomad's dog that's basically riley from call of duty ghosts or take a look at the war machine for battery there was an actual score streak back in black ops 2 that was called the war machine and was exactly what battery's war machine does or even torque with his barricade that was basically the guardian from black ops 2 and black ops 3 so as you can see the ones that are a little bit more extreme or the ones that people kind of have a problem with are the ones whose abilities are like past score streaks and the ones that people really don't have a problem with are nothing like the score streaks we've seen back in black ops 3 2 1 or any sort of call of duty that came out before bo4 so i guess the overall point that i'm trying to make for this entire video is that if the specialists were kind of toned down just a little bit like crash and recon are then we could have had something that worked here in black ops 4 in which barely anybody would have a problem with specialists however that's not really the case and i just want to hear from you guys at this point what do you feel when it comes to the specialists here in black ops 4 are they actually bad for black ops 4 or for call of duty in general do you think that the specialists in black ops 4 are going to be eventually getting the same treatment that jetpacks did at one point or do you still think that the idea of specialists has potential here in call of duty except they should just be designed in a way that they're not as extreme as the ones we see here in bo4 i would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below but with that said that's pretty much all i have for you guys in this video so if you guys enjoyed it please leave a like comment subscribe click the bell icon so you'll never miss an upload and follow me on my social media accounts to stay connected links will always be in the description below and i will go ahead and talk to you guys in the next one so take care of yourselves and bye